back to the next video so today i want to talk about uh, this uh, issue which uh, most of you more most likely are to face whenever you are trying to enable new architecture for ios on react native so the issue is you might get something like your ruby version is 2.6.8 but your gem file specified 2.7.6 error while enabling new architecture on react native ios so first of all i am using rbenv and not rvm uh, rbenv just like rvm is a, a version manager for ruby and uh, first of all you would have to do uh, check out rbenv's uh, documentation and you have to make sure uh, that uh, it is giving you the ruby version is set to 2.7.6 so like in future this could be some other version so it should be something like whatever the version is so even after setting this version i was getting an error so i have already tried doing all of this stuff like i have installed rbnv then i have installed a 2.7.6 and then i have set it globally as well i have added it to my z shell as well this line should be uh, last at this line should be present at the uh, bottom of your z shell and even after that i was getting this error saying that your ruby version is 2.6.10 but your gems file uh, gem file uh, specified 2.7.6 when i did ruby dash dash version i would get used to get ruby uh, 2.7.6 but still it was not working uh, i had created a brand new react native project and uh, whenever i cd into the ios directory uh, we used to run this command to enable the new architecture for react native i am using uh, react native 0.71.1 so you can see there are bunch of uh, comments and a uh, bunch of answers as well to my question uh, but uh, this uh, uh, answer uh, helped me a lot like uh, to find it didn't directly help me but because of the comments in this post uh, in this uh, answer i was able to uh, know what i have not tried so the uh, issue that i was able to solve was you go to your uh, cd to your uh, react native project and just run this and it allowed me to resolve this issue but you should also uh, check out this post and uh, try other solutions as well as that those might be able to help you but uh, for me i was able to resolve this issue by running bundle install dash dash uh, redownload which it forces a redownload of all gems on the gem file assigning them to the new bundler and then i was able to run uh, this uh, uh, the command to enable the new architecture on react native so i was able to run this then cd into your ios folder and run this and then you can run yarn ios by going uh, back to your react native project directory so yeah this was the only video there are other post also which i wanted to tell you so you can check out this post as well if you want to which might help you then i had asked this question on reddit as well but so there are few answers on reddit as well uh, which might help you so i will post this my answer on reddit as well just so that in case anyone in the future wants to know the answer it might help him as well as i have have asked it on uh, react native as well uh, so i have posted it on react native also i have asked it on uh, i think react native's new architecture so here you can see I will post there as well okay so yeah uh, thank you for watching see you in the next one